All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, I will show you the differences of using two different pagination theme. So over here, we are using bootstrap theme. So if I switch to Tailwind theme, let me switch that. And for that, let me go to our main component, which is admin component. And over here for pagination theme, we are using bootstrap. Let me change this to Tailwind. So if I change this to Tailwind, we get the broken design, but I just want to notice you over here. Over here, we are getting this description and it is saying that showing 1 to 5 of 26 results, right? If I go to next page, we are getting showing 6 to 10 of 26 results, which is fine. But if I switch to Bootstrap theme, we don't get the descriptions, right? So this was also noticed by one of our viewers. So his name is Amit and he's also saying that when we use bootstrap pagination, we use the page summary like showing x to y of z results, right? So in this video, I will show you how we can show the description as well. So let's get started. So first of all, let me open up the terminal and over here we can publish our liveware pagination views. So for that, we can use PSP artisan liveware publish and we want to publish pagination views, right? And it got published and it is stored inside of resources, views, vendor and liveware. So let me go to that file, resources, views, vendor and then liveware and we have these files. If we go to tailwind.blade.psp and over here we see this section, right, uh, related to the description. So let me copy this from here and on our bootstrap.blade.psp. Let me go over here and let me paste that in. Let me indent it. And these classes will not work, so let me remove these classes. Okay. And let me save this and refresh the page. And we get that description, which is fine, right? But let's align this properly over here. So for that, we can add our classes. So let me go over here and let's add a class over here. We can simply do display of flex and align items to the center. Now let me refresh it and it got aligned properly. Let me add some margin over here. So for that, let me give some margin left of two and let me save that, refresh the face and we get that spacing, right? And if I go to different pages, we see this description, which is perfect. But I want to notice you one thing over here. So be careful to wrap this text with a span tag. So if I remove this span tag, and if I refresh the page, we'll getting some weird issue. So if I go to different pages, and let me go to page one. And we are getting some kind of weird message, right? Showing 1 to 526 results. This is weird, right? Because we lose that off text over here. So it should be showing 1 to 5 of 26 results. So this is confusing. So make sure to wrap this uh, text with the span tag, okay? So let me do control Z, save this, and refresh the page, and everything is working perfect. So this much for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this. So till then have a great time and I will see you on the next one.